Hello everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be explaining how to find the circumference or the distance around the outside of a circle. So we usually use the diameter or the radius to find the distance around the outside of the circle, the circumference. So the diameter is a line segment that starts at one edge of the circle, travels directly through the center of the circle, and stops at the opposite edge of the circle. The radius is a line segment that starts at the center of a circle and ends on any edge of the circle. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to use what we found out in my last video and we're going to apply it to the circle to find out what the circumference or the distance around the circle is. So if you haven't seen my last video um, you can go ahead and check it out here. But basically in my last video what it does is it explains that the diameter of any circle can wrap around the outside or the circumference of the circle exactly pi times. So that implies that pi times the diameter is equal to the circumference, the distance around the outside. So one thing to note here is if we were to take another radius here and instead of touching this point right here we make it travel the other direction, then we have two radiuses now and this is the same distance as the diameter. So we have one radius going this way, another one going this way, and two of these radiuses equals the diameter. So we're just going to write that here. The diameter is equal to two radiuses. And we're basically going to rewrite this in terms of radius now. So we simply replace the d with 2r since 2r equals d. So another way to write this is pi times 2r equals the circumference, the distance around the circle. So we found two different formulas we can use to find the circumference or the distance around the circle. So why don't we just go ahead and do a quick example and then I'll wrap it up. Let's say that the diameter of our circle is equal to 4 and that implies that our radius is equal to 2 since 2 times 2 equals 4, d equals 4, so 2 times something equals 4 has to be a 2. And that would make sense because twice the radius is equal to the diameter, 2 times 2 equals 4. So we're going to just plug it in to the corresponding equations here. So pi times d, d is 4, equals c the circumference. And here we have pi times 2 times r, well r is equal to 2. So pi times 2 times 2 equals the circumference. And 2 times 2 equals 4, so there we have pi times 4 equals c, and pi times 4 equals c. So whether you're using the radius and you plug it into this equation, or if you're using the diameter and you plug it into this equation, you can find out the circumference of the circle and you get the exact same result. And I believe that pi times 4 is something like 12.566 and then a bunch of other numbers. If you wanted to kind of get an approximate answer for what 4 times pi is or pi times 4 is. But anyway, so that's basically it. If you want to find the distance around the outside of the circle and you're given the diameter, then just plug the diameter into this equation and you'll find out what the circumference is. If you're given the radius and you want to find out the circumference of the circle, plug it into this one where r is. So either way, you've got the diameter of the radius, use the corresponding equation depending on which one you have and you'll be able to find the circumference of a circle. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to go ahead and do some more tutorial videos on circles so stay tuned for those. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.